Hello everyone! Welcome in! Hi Waves! I hope you're doing well. I haven't heard for you from you in a bit. Um We're just hanging out today. I was thinking we can do some more BuzzFeed quizzes. <laughs> I have this weird idea in which what would happen if I made a Sims character using BuzzFeed quizzes? Like BuzzFeed quizzes, guess what my eye color is, guess what my hair color is, and I'd have to do it through BuzzFeed quizzes. I wonder if they wouldn't even uh, have something like that. I know that they have the guess your age quiz. Most websites have those. What is the trending quizzes? Here, I'll switch it over so you guys can put your opinions in on what quizzes we should do. I, I know some of these I'm definitely not doing. <laughs> uh, let me put up some music. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it would be interesting, that's for sure. Uh, this one says royal royalty free music, so let's do that and just make it quieter. Okay. What quiz shall we start with? I invited Captain to join voice. He's currently making dinner. <laughs> I I just finished eating dinner. Um <laughs> gum flavor. Uh let's see. Trendy baby names. Nope. What is M-Body? Why does that seem to be trending? M-Body. What is M-Body? I'm gonna guess it's like a show. show. M-Body show. Uh, it's a pot. It's a bot. A uh, podcast? I don't know. I type in M-Body and I get the definition of a single word. Oh, Imbo- Oh, I get it. I had a brain fart. Ne never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a abbreviated version of Abbott Elementary. I'm, I'm pretty sure you spell that differently. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Famous rodents? I'm not so sure about that. Mm. Favorite? Which one is the better movie? Let's check that one out. Legally Blonde or Clueless? I guess Legally Blonde. I never watched Clueless. Okay. 59 agree with me. The Notebook or Titanic? I've heard The Notebook is a tearjerker, but I've only seen Titanic. Wow. 10 things I hate about you or how to lose a guy in 10 days. I haven't heard of either of these, but this one sounds more interesting. Yeah. The title grabs your attention just slightly more. High school musical or camp rock? Well, high school musical is a classic, but also camp rock was, uh... It just reminded me of so many fan fictions I've read back in middle school. <laughs> I guess high school musical, because it's kind of a classic. Yeah. Kung Fu Panda or Shrek? I have like all the Shreks, but Kung Fu Panda always grabs my attention more because it's animals. <laughs> really? Most people like Shrek more. Huh. Frozen or Tangled? I haven't seen Frozen 2. I think that would change my opinion. But for now it's Tangled. 57%. That's a good number. I like that number. 
Princess, Princess and the Frog or Mulan? Mulan has more songs I can kind of connect to. Because as a like socially awkward individual, how I constantly feel like I can't express myself unless I'm doing something creative, um, I, I relate to Mulan more. Yeah. It's a whole looking in the mirror thing. That that song spoke to me the most as a kid. Hercules or the Emperor's New Groove? Hercules has good songs, but Emperor's New Groove is so funny. Such a classic. Wow, most people chose Hercules. Singing in the Rain or The Sound of Music? I know of Sound of Music. I haven't seen either one, though. Hmm. Hamilton or West Side Story? I never watched Hamilton. I've heard music from Hamilton. As a personal... I, 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 I just don't like history. It, it was never my favorite subject. I don't, I don't like history. So West Side Story is more of my story to go to. Greatest Showman or Into the Woods? Greatest Showman. Not, not even a question. Those songs are amazing and I love the story behind it. Home for the Wilder People or Jojo Rabbit? I haven't heard of either of these. I feel like this is a book that I read, but I don't know for certain. I don't know what Jojo Rabbit is. I should look that up. <laughs> what is Jojo Rabbit? Like most conversations or starts of conversations, I need to look up what I'm talking about. It's a 2019 war drama movie, but it's a comedy drama film. Yeah, I never even heard of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Life of Pi or Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon? I think Life of Pi I've heard of before. I haven't heard of the other one. Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? Harry Potter all the way. <laughs> Jungle Cruise or Jumanji? Never heard of Jungle Cruise, so Jumanji is the way to go. Oh, that's not even a challenge. Indiana Jones or Star Wars? I saw Indiana Jones. I haven't seen Star Wars yet. Wow. Kind of close. Kind of close. Avengers or X-Men? Never watched the, uh, the X-Men. I have seen the Avengers. All, pretty much all the movies. Avatar or Dune? Never watched Dune. I have watched Avatar. And that's the one with the, the, um, not the airbender, the other one. <laughs> uh, Interstellar or The Martian? Mm, I heard of Interstellar and if The Martian is what I think it is. I want to say The Martian because I, it's 50-50? There's a three vote difference? That is close. Let me check if The Martian is what I think it is. Because if it's not, then I should have voted on the other one. And then it's just like a two vote difference. What is The Martian? When astronauts blast off uh, from planet Mars, they leave behind a Mark... Mark Watney... Presumed dead after a fierce storm, only with a major amount of supplies, and stranded visitor must utilize his wits and spirits to find a way to survive on a hostile planet. Hmm. That, that one actually sounds familiar. It isn't what I thought it was, but it, is, it does sound like a good film. Good movie. What is Interstellar? Because I 
want to make sure. Interstellar movie. Okay, this one looks like one I haven't seen. But I think my parents have seen. In Earth's future, a global crop bl blight and second dust bowl are slowly rendering the planet inhabitable. Uh, inhabitable. Professor Brand, a brilliant NASA physicist, is working on plans to save mankind by transporting Earth's population to a new home via wormhole. That one sounds interesting, but I do think Martian was the right choice. Tron or Ready Player One? Ready Player One is really good in my opinion, but Tron is a classic. So they're both good in their own way, but I'm, le I'm leaning towards Ready Player One. 57. Good number. Hunger Games or Maze Runner? I have- I just got some of the Maze Runner books, so I still have to read it. Uh, for Hunger Games, I, I had to read it for school, so I know more about Hunger Games. Inception or The Matrix? I heard of Inception, never read or seen it. I've seen bits and pieces of The Matrix, and there's been so many references by YouTubers I watch all the time. So... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Any good ones here? Mm. That's a that would be an interesting one to do with Captain if he joins us. So I'll save that for another for later. If Captain joins, that is. Let me guess your zodiac sign and I'll give you an AI generated prediction about your love life. Ooh! Interesting. Getting detailed. Uh, horoscopes are always fun to read, though definitely not always accurate. Kind of like a AI written text response. So I thought it would be interesting to combine the two. Let me guess your star sign, and then I'll let an open AI chatbot, chat GPT, predict your romantic future. Excuse me. Uh, what's my relationship status? Married, long term, single, single, not by choice. It's complicated playing the field. It's a long term relationship. Uh, if you want $100 million, what is the first thing you would buy? A yacht? cabin, new wardrobe, valuable piece of art, brightly colored sports car, a film studio. Um, uh, pro probably film studio because then I can continue to do what I do <laughs> for fun. Um, the, technically the true answer to this question would be an actual like house. I live with my parents. I would buy a house using that money. Uh, the party theme is dress for the job you want. What are you wearing? CEO black turtleneck, teacher's cherry outfit, Broadway star's costume, an artist's paint stained clothes, an explorer's rugged attire, and a, re a researcher's science coat. Uh, so basically, do I want to be CEO, teacher, Broadway star, artist, explorer, or scientist? I guess out of these, I would choose explorer. Sounds more fun. You've been assigned a group project for class. What's your role? Leader, presenter, designer, support, researcher, goof off. Does most of the work, takes most of the credit, has the best handwriting, brings snacks, and food, energy, uh, and good energy, actually contributes, slacks off. I'm a researcher. I'll contribute, but I'm not much for like talking in front of people. Your friends are hosting a potluck. What are you bringing? 
souffle, mac and cheese, chips and salsa, cupcakes, wings, ice. Who, who brings ice to a potluck? You can't eat ice. I don't usually bring wings because that's messy. Definitely not a souffle because that's too fancy. Mm, if it's like a... Um, uh, I was gonna say like potato salad or mac and sal mac and salad. The noodle one, the noodle version of potato salad. What is it called? It's not an egg salad. I don't even know what it's called. Um, I think most of the time when I go to potlucks, I bring cupcakes. I have a soft spot for cupcakes. She was a 2023 aesthetic. Rockstar girlfriend, rom-com core. I don't know what that means. Mermaid core, future core, ballet core, western core. I don't know what this one means. But for my 2023 aesthetic out of these six, I would choose western. Supernatural is definitely <laughs> making me lean towards that one. You're trying out for a musical. What? What's your ideal role? A musical. Um. I never. I don't think I would mind being comic relief. I'm not sure if I'll be good at it though. <laughs> if your exes had to describe you in one word, what would they say? Controlling, headstrong, clinging, annoying, self-centered, awkward. Probably awkward. Probably. I am a very awkward person. Which US city do you feel best represents you as a person? We have six options. New York City, Cincinnati, Savannah, Georgia. This music is loud. I think I turned it down a little bit. Savannah, Georgia, Milwaukee, Los Angeles, Washington, DC. Considering I was born in New York, I kind of understand New York more than the rest of these towns that I've never been to. <laughs> Actually, I've been to Washington, DC. It wasn't my vibe. And finally, which quality? Wait. <laughs> and finally, which quality do you most want to be remembered for? Artistic talent, charm, your adventurous spirit, your humor, your cleverness, your kindness. A lot of these are really good. I think I'm leaning towards your charm. I swear it's gonna say I'm a Leo. Ah, it says I'm a Virgo! <laughs> Close, but not quite. I'm a Libra. But here's Virgo. Virgo, this is this month you may find yourself feeling more analytically and practical in matters of the heart. Single Virgos may be more likely to take a step back and Evaluate the potential partner based on their long-term compatibility. Those in relationship may find themselves wanting to focus on building a strong foundation and to work through any issues that have been causing problems. Remember to communicate openly and honestly with your partner and to make sure that you are both on the same page when it comes to your goals and priorities. This is a great time to focus on building trust and security in your relationship. Well, I'm not a Virgo, but that is good advice. <laughs> okay, so what is... Okay, that's... Okay. Gilmore Girls. Uh, you can only keep one dish per cuisine. Please choose wisely. We can't possibly all be a king. Are you a soldier, poet, or king? 
I like that. It's like the song. Soldier Poet King. What is your role in the friend group? The mom, the baby, the older sibling. <sighs> it's usually 50-50 when it comes to my friend groups. I'm either the oldest one, making me like the mom or the older sibling, or I'm the youngest, which makes me baby. Recently, it's baby. <laughs> um, if you could spend a full 24 hours doing one thing, what could it be? What would it be? Anything with other people where I can be of some use? I don't know, I'll probably do a couple different things. Actually, I can't sit still for long. <laughs> Read, writing, anything artsy, honestly. Um, full 24 hours doing one thing. Be with people, anything artsy, or a couple different things. <sighs> I get fried really easily, so I would say different couple things. <clears throat> Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Extrovert, I can't find a way to make conversation. I can find a way to make conversation with anyone. Um, by vert, I'm definitely not saying that right. I like my room, but I will go out with friends time to time. Introvert, I love talking to people, but I need time to recharge and socializing has to be on my own terms. Uh, yeah, definitely introverted. <laughs> Coffee or tea? <laughs> Coffee, tea, vodka. <laughs> Uh, I definitely drink a lot of coffee. Do you feel like if you don't help people, something bad will help happen? Or if something is out of your control, people will get seriously hurt or lose their mind? Yes, no, whatever goes, goes. I don't like taking control. I help who I can and it isn't the end of the world if I can't though. Mmm... If you don't feel, do you feel like you don't help people? Wait, <laughs> I'm definitely reading this wrong. Do you feel like if you don't help people, something bad will happen? Or if something is out of your control, people will get seriously hurt or lose their mind? Uh, I feel like the... Right answer is yes, but I'm leaning towards this one. I can help. I help who I can. It isn't the end of the world if I can't, though. Like, I offer my help. It's up to them if they take it. So, I can't take full credit if something goes wrong. <laughs> what do you crave the most on a daily basis? I don't have time for an, an elongated want or need. Comfort to be understood to run. Um, probably the first one. I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time for elongated want or need. Uh, can you fight? Yes, but I could. I would never instigate one. Yes, and if someone makes me mad, they'll get to see my skills firsthand. I don't like fighting, but if someone needs me to tease someone over the internet, I'm more than happy to offer service. <laughs> That's very specific. I'm listening. I don't know who that is. Uh, mm, yes, technically. Like, I grew up with a sister. I know how to fight a little bit. Uh, but I would never start one. At least not on purpose. What age was your childhood over? Oh my god. Uh, young, I had to start... I had to step up from... Step up younger than most. I still enjoy mine. I guess it depends on how you look at it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, some aspects of my life I'm an adult. And some other aspects I'm a child. So I don't know. Uh, do you like to try new things? Once in a while couldn't hurt. No, I crave routine and for things to stay the same. I do like routine, but everyone wants every once in a while it couldn't hurt to try something new. What is your academic standpoint? Burnt out gifted kid. <laughs> no. Uh, 
uh, I need academic validation or I'm a failure. Cross that one out. That's definitely not true. Uh, there is more important things than school, like mental health and what the fly in the ceiling is thinking. I like that one. <laughs> uh, do you accept help? Um... Uh, when I need it, no, I'm fine. No one offers, but even if they did, I wouldn't need it. I can handle myself. Uh, when I need it, I, I, I accept help. About how high is your rice purity sc score? What does that mean? About high, high, how high is your rice purity score? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to guess the middle one. Wine or beer? Uh, it's usually wine. What quote speaks to you the most? You're in one of those moods and I am in one of them too and it's hard to communicate. This white frame is all that I got left because not even you could chew through my bones. I've got very strong bones. I'm the last one on the dance floor as the chandelier gives away. <laughs> These are all really bad quotes. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know who said these quotes, but they're really bad. <laughs> mm, this one relates to me on a daily basis, but this one is also like, wow, that's, that's dramatic. Uh, no, the chandelier one keeps popping back out to me. How good are you at predicting things? Amazing, nothing gets past me. I just go with the flow. I live in the now. That's great. I'm too wrapped up in the past. Uh, I usually live in the future. Captain usually yells at me about that. I live in the future, but I've been trying to learn how to live in the now, even when the now is mostly just living in my head about things I want to do in the future. Mm, I just go with the flow, I guess. I try. What is your biggest fear? I laugh at fear <laughs> being abandoned. Uh, the fact that I could have done something to save them, being hated. Probably the abandon. <laughs> Do you blame yourself? Who else is there to blame? I take fault where it is due, only sometimes. I think about that question so much and I only get further from the answer. Only sometimes. When I'm truly at fault, I'll blame myself. Otherwise, I might just leave it up in the air. How do you deal with bullying slash hate? The lower than me, their opinion is irrelevant. I have a shovel in my backyard. <laughs> Maybe they're right. Um, none of these are really how I would answer this. <clears throat> I think I usually just ignore them or I just get really confused as to why they're so hateful. <laughs> but I think this is the closest one out of those three options. Which role do you think is the most important? Soldier, poet, or king? Poet keeps up the moon, but soldier protects everyone and the king keeps everyone organized. I guess technically, I feel like soldier is the most important. And now how often do you cry? Don't, w <laughs> don't worry about it. Crying is for the week. I stare at the ceiling at the middle of the night and sob to Mitsuki. I'm very, I'm very sensitive. I cry all the time. I'm the soldier. You were handed a sword and you accepted with no hesitation. You'll do anything to protect those who are close to you, even if... It meant laying your life down. 
You are seen as a comic relief, but most of the time it is a friend so people don't worry about you. You are forced you are forced to be reckoned with and if people mess with you or your friends, they'll pay the price. You often do reckless things because you know that life is too short to play it safe. You hold a lot of baggage and tend to unload it in unconventional ways. Despite all of this, at the end of the day, you know you have a home to run back to when the sun goes down and the stars come out. I like that. That's like so relatable. <laughs> it relates to me. I do do a lot of things and I don't always explain what I do. That's probably the best way I'm going to respond to that. If you choose one movie per actor, I'll guess your Zodiac Elements. Okay, so I'm a Libra, which means I'm an air sign. Let's see if they get it right. It would be easier if you guys, like, gave me a picture. I don't know names. This is a lot of options. We got Internal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I love that movie. <laughs> Titanic. Am 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 Ammonite. <laughs> the Reader. The Holiday. Finding Neverland. Evolution Road. Sense and Sensibility. I like The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It's a good movie and kind of complicated. Denzel Washington. That's a familiar name. Got Training Day. American Gangster. Malcolm X. The Equalizer. The, fi the Flight. The Remember the Titans. I, I know that one. Haley Barry. Uh, Monsters Ball. X-Men. Bullworth. Die Another Day, Cloud Atlas, Things We Lost in the Fire, Swordfish, Catwoman. Uh, I guess I'm leaning towards Catwoman. I'm not even going to pronounce that last name. Jake is all I'm going to say. Brokeback Mountain, Nightcrawler, The Day After Tomorrow, Southpaw, Zodiac, Love and Other Drugs, Spider-Man Far From Home, Donnie Darko. I, I guess I'm doing Spider-Man because that's the only one I recognize. Julia Roberts. Roberts. That's a familiar name. My best friend's wedding. Eat, pray, love. Notting Hill. Aaron Brockovich. Stepmom. August. Usage come to you. Pretty woman. Mona Lisa Smite. I don't recognize any of these, but I recognize the name. <sighs> This one sounds like one I would watch, though. Dwayne Johnson. I know Dwayne. Okay, I know this one. I can I can work with this one. We got Jumanji. We got Jungle Cruise. We got Son Andreas. The Game Plan. Red Notice. I don't know how to pronounce that. Central Intelligence and Race to Witch Mountain. I think I'm gonna go Witch Mountain. You guys haven't seen that movie. It's It came out... I want to say 10 years ago, I and mean, that's definitely a lie. <laughs> it probably hasn't been 10 years. Amy Adams. Arrival, Nocturnal Animals. Enchanted, Man of Steel. Ooh, I didn't know. Uh, Leap Year, I heard of that movie. Let's do Enchanted, that was a good movie. Robert De Niro, I think I heard of that name before. We got The Deer Hunter, The Irishman, Meet the Parents, Heat, Goodfellas, Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, and Last Vegas. I think I heard this name before because my dad watch, watches his movies. Uh, I think the only one I recognize is Meet the Parents. Reese Witherspoon. I also recognize that name. There is Legally Blonde. Water for Elephants, Election, Sweet Home Alabama, uh, Just Like Heaven, Cruel Intentions, Walking the Line of Wild. Let's do Legally Blonde. Tom Hanks, I recognize that name. Castaway, Toy Story, The Terminal, uh, The Green Mile, Forrest Gump, Apollo 13, You Got Mail, Big. Recognized, recognized, recognized. 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 <laughs> I, I know a lot of these. Um, but The Terminal, if you guys don't know, it's a great movie, and it's based on a true story about how a man, uh, took up residence in a airport. 
and it was just and that was a really cool movie and cool real story drew barrymore I, I never heard of that name we got et charlie's angels nev never been kissed ever after the wedding singer fever pitch 51st dates blended i recognize the weddies uh, wedding singer samuel l jackson i recognize that uh, I'm surprised Avengers is not here. Uh, out of these, let's do Captain Marvel. I haven't seen it, but I know he's in it. Fire sign, you are wrong. I'm an air sign. I just don't know a lot of movies. Hmm. Look at ton of your favorite breakfast foods to find out how many kids you'll have. I don't need need I don't need that information right now. Uh, if you can't guess fifty percent of the correct Disney hairstyles, I'm <laughs> revoking your Disney Plus subscription. I don't have a Disney Plus, but I can probably figure this out. <laughs> Hans is a redhead or brunette? He's a redhead. Yes. How many pigtails does Boo have? Two. Easy. How voluminous <laughs> is Jasmine's do? Uh, oh. I feel like it's this one. A, it's not super chunk, it's more flowy. Uh, blue hair like Hades or red hair like Hercules? Red hair. Uh, Burr, Rose, wear a headband or not? She wears a headband. How long is Maui's hair? It's short. Is Yiz, uh, Yizma's hairline a widow peak or not? It's, it's this one. I don't know what's called. It is a widow's peak. Okay. Have bangs or not? He has bangs. I can recognize them. Oh, please. It's the one with the bun. <laughs> uh, have candy in hair... Is that a real question? Does Alice wear a white bow in her hair? That is the worst Photoshop ever. <laughs> it's no bow. There was a clear like gap between the bow and the hair. Does Milo bl is Milo blonde or brunette? He's brunette. A. That was really easy. Sorry, worst photoshops. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's give them the element a second try. But this one, fictional characters you would want to kiss. And it tells me which element I am. Which one? We got Mike Wazowski, Human Trek, Victor, or Joker. Out of th these options, probably Human Trek. Which one? We got Harley Quinn, Batman, Nani, or Hulk? Probably Harley Quinn. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, which one? Wolverine, Johnny Bravo, Genie, or the King? I never watched Wolverine. And I can't imagine kissing these two, so the best option is probably Johnny Bra Bravo. Uh, which one? We got Winifred, Zed, Principal Duval, and Jacob Black. I'm trying to figure- so I know that one's from that Halloween movie, I forgot what it's called. I don't know where he's from. He's from Millie. I don't know where from though. And I think that's Twilight. 
I need to look this up. <laughs> Where is Principal Prince Principal Paul, Paul Duval? Uh. Oh, that's Mean Girls. Okay, that makes sense. He's probably the closest to my age <laughs> that I would be willing to. Maleficent, Megan, Prince Charming, or Ghostface? Maleficent, why not? Which one? We got Superman, Tarzan, Damien? I don't... I don't know where Damien's from. Or Eggman. Let's do Superman, because I don't know about kissing a cartoon. Uh, which one? Sonic, Nick Wilde, Meg, or Hades? Let's do Meg. <laughs> which one? We got Jim Hawkins, Mr. Timit Timnus, Red, or Milo? Let's do Milo. Water, wrong! You got, you got fire, and you got water. I'm an air sign! Trying to find another one that's gonna catch my attention. Okay, let's do this one. Am I East Coast or West Coast material? Because I've always lived on the East Coast. So if it says I deserve to be on the West Coast, then this should be interesting. Morning drink preference, coffee. What are you going to eat? What are you ordering? Tacos, pizza, clam chowder, ch chowder, chowder, chowder. <laughs> hamburger, lobster rolls, or burrito? Out of all these options, the hamburger looks delicious. If you could pick only one movie, it would be... Uh, I haven't seen any of these. But the one that I recognize the most was probably 13 going on 30. I've heard that one. I heard of that one quite a bit from my parents. What type of sandwich would you order? Uh, probably Philly cheesesteak. Where would you stop for a snack or a coffee on your way home? Bodega or gas station? Probably gas station. I don't know what a bodega is. Have you ever watched a movie at a drive-in movie theater? Never. I I don't think I ever have. Which of these words makes the most sense 
to use, Coke or soda? Well, Coke is a type of soda. <laughs> but I usually just say, I'm gonna grab a soda. Uh, you stop by a street vendor, what are you getting? Probably a hot dog. Hot dogs are pretty good. If you could pick one additional movie, it would be... I don't know why. I think I've seen this one. But not the rest of them. <laughs> According to you, how should butter sticks look? Short and thick or long and thin? Long and thin. Uh, if you had- wait, they have different shaped butter on the west coast? Why? <laughs> That's so weird. If you had to pick a salad, which one would you choose? Probably Caesar. Which of these restaurants would you be most likely to eat at? What a- what is a water burger? A water burger? Fat burger? I don't- I never heard of those. Shake Shack! Ooh! In and out, I always wanted to try In and Out. Farmer Boys or Waffle House? Probably a Shake Shack. Which of these two are you most fam more familiar with? Carl's Jr. or Hardee's? They look exactly the same. <laughs> I never been to either one. Uh, I think I've heard of Carl's Jr. a lot more than a Hardee's. Do you often accidentally read a spoil spoilers on online? Yeah, all the time. I did that with Supernatural. The ending was spoiled for me. So I'm trying my best not to spoil the ending for Captain. <laughs> uh, which of these ice cream brands is a better one? Eddie's or Dyer's? Never heard of either one. Unless you mean Briar's, which it's close. East Coast. Okay, good. We know what we're doing here. <laughs> yep, you definitely belong on the East Coast. You like fast lifting and the hustle of it all, but can still appreciate the slow moment or two. Yes, the East Coast. My home. So they do have an eye color quiz. What eye color do you guys think I have? Do I have blue? Green? Some people say gray because they change color. Let me know. Uh, pick an exterior. I like the bricks. Uh, front porch. That looks like a back porch. That's kind of nice. That also looks like a back porch. I like that one. Pick an entryway. That one looks like you're in the bedroom. That one looks like a back way. I guess this one. Now choose your living room. That looks like a kitchen. I like this one. It's nice and dark. Pick a kitchen. Uh, probably like this one the most. It has plants. Pick a bathroom. Mm. This one has a soaking tub. I like soaking tubs. Pick a bedroom. That one just shows bed sheets. <laughs> uh, let's see this one. Pick a child's bedroom. Why? <laughs> I guess to have a child, you need to have a nursery at least first. Uh, Leslie, pick an extra room: an arcade theater, greenhouse, office, or gym. Probably office. Like I need an office. Green eyes. Rarest eye color? Are green eyes rare? I keep telling everyone that my eyes look more green than they do blue recently. And everyone's like, no, they're blue. They're blue. 
back in high school, I had a friend that kept saying, kept, they kept looking at me and they're like, your eyes are blue. Five minutes later, your eyes are green. Five minutes later, your eyes are gray? Silver? <laughs> they just kept looking at me and changing what they thought my eye color was. I just messed up. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Uh... Okay, let me find other ones. I'm gonna turn off the screen for a moment in case something awkward pops up. Okay, I found a trivia quiz. Sorry, but only a true Supernatural fan can get 10 out of 10 on this trivia quiz. And I'm obsessed with Supernatural, so hopefully that is true for me. What was Sam planning on becoming when he graduated? A lawyer. A lawyer. He wanted to become a lawyer. But clearly, life had other plans. <laughs> How old was Dean when his mother died? He was four. Yeah, he was four years old. What make and model of the car that John gave to Dean? It's a 1967 Chevy Impala. Oh, yeah. Baby. <laughs> Uh, who is Jack? Jack is <laughs> Dean's son, Sam's son, the devil's son, John's secret son. Uh, if you listen to him, if you listen to what Jack says, he says Castiel is his dad, but technically he's the devil's son. He's the devil's son. Man, this show, this show is wild. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, where is Rowena from? Rowena is from Scotland. Told you you needed me. <laughs> what is the color of Castiel's tie? Oh, what? Uh, is it blue? Okay, thank God. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure that's not cast in that scene, but sure, we'll go with that. Who is God? Mara, Chuck, Bobby, or Kevin? <laughs> ah, it's Chuck. I'm definitely a god. A cruel, cruel, capacious god. <laughs> uh, what day of the week did Dean die over and over again? It, it was a Tuesday. He keeps dying on a Tuesday. Which happened to... This tu last Tuesday happened to be Dean's birthday, so <laughs> hopefully it wasn't a repeat day. Which one of these characters is a witch? There's Dean, Sam, Castiel, and Rowena. Rowena's the witch, but Sam is technically a witch in training, so. And finally, in which season did Jensen Ackles play air guitar on his leg to Eye of the Tiger? Uh, let's see if my memory serves me well. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, it's not season two. 
I'm feeling like it's a four or five. Because, fun fact, originally Supernatural was supposed to end at the end of season five. <sighs> I'm leaning towards five. I got it wrong. It's four or five. <laughs> I love that crown. It's such a good crown. Okay, let's see. Are you more Sim or Dean? Not, I'm not dating them. I'm sibling, but like, which one would I, am I, which one do I act more like? There we go. <laughs> uh, pick a supernatural power. Telepathy, telekinesis, immune to demonic powers, or extraordinary strength. I like the immune, immunity to demonic powers. That's pretty cool. Pick a parent's. John or Mary? I think I would choose John, even though he has proven not to be the best parent. He would definitely teach me to how to protect myself. Uh, what's my weapon of choice? The Colt shotgun with rock salt? No, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Taros Model 99. Is that Dean's gun? I, I don't even know if that's like the name of it. Uh, let's go with shotgun with rock salt. So if I accidentally hit someone, it doesn't immediately kill them, but it does keep like demons and ghosts away. Pick a flannel pattern. Uh, Whenever I see red flannel, it automatically screams Christmas to me. And I have green flannel, but I like this pattern a lot. What is your best, uh, the, your best feature is your logic, taste in music, charm, or intelligence? I would like to say it's my charm. But I know I also have great taste in music, according to myself. <laughs> I think I always have a great sense of logic. I'm, I'm going towards logic. What are you? <laughs> the bitch or the jerk? Uh, probably bitch. <laughs> Gonna be honest. Uh, pick a song to jam out to. Carry on my wayward son. I have the tiger. That just says Led Zeppelin, and then there's Wanted Dead or Alive. I screamed saying Dead or Alive the other day, so probably that. I'm a Sam Winchester. You may be younger, but you're way more logical, and you often surprise yourself with new abilities you never knew you had. But once you know you have them, you really use them to your advantage. You're more of a romantic than your bro. The whole reason you started hunting again was out of vengeance. Okay. <laughs> I am the younger one of me and my sister, so it makes sense. Do you know enough about Supernatural to get 10 out of 10 on this quiz? We'll see. What is Sam and Dean's last name? Oh, please. <laughs> Sing Chester, Loose Ch <laughs> Sing Chester. Uh, Singer, Loose Chester, Winchester, or Smith. It's Winchester. <laughs> They're always winning. <laughs> In Sam Interrupted, what did Dean shout to get out of trouble in the mental institute? <laughs> Pudding! <laughs> what is this? What is the theme song of Supernatural? Carry on my wayward son. It plays every single time a season ends and they have to recap. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Yes! Um, <laughs> I get way too excited when it comes to Supernatural. What is the name of their angel best friend? That is Castiel. He wears a fantastic trench coat. I'm an angel of the Lord. 
What's the name of the trickster that is Gabriel? Hello, trickster. <laughs> who is the one who gripped Dean tight and raised him from perdition? That's Castiel. <laughs> what is Dean's favorite food? <sighs> he likes a good cheeseburger, but he also adores pie. <laughs> you don't understand, I need pie. Finish the quote. Driver picks the music and shotgun shuts its cake hole. But I wanted to read the rest of them. And everyone enjoys it, so deal with it. Rule house rule, Sammy. Shuts his cake hole. <laughs> Impala rules are unbreakable. <laughs> what is Crowley's real name? It is Fergus McLeod. Hello, darling. Fergus. What kind of car is Baby 1967 Chevy Impala? Yes. Carry on. Wow, you really know your stuff and it shows. Sam is proud and Dune got some pie. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, the, this birthday quiz will reveal what supernatural being you are. <laughs> sure, why not? This has nothing to do with the show. Where are you having your birthday party? Home. <laughs> How many people are you inviting? Mm, probably just close friends. What will you be serving a snack? What is that? S'mores? There's wine, chips. And let's do chips. Pick an activity to do. Hiking, playing games, bonding, eating. Playing games, why not? What does your cake look like? <sighs> that one makes sense. Oh, that one looks really pretty though. I would do that one if I could. Someone you don't like decides to crash your party. What do you do? Uh, Push them away politely. Ask them to leave. I don't invite them in. I don't like confrontation. I'm a vampire. <laughs> You're fierce and punctual. People know better than to get on your bad side. Okay. <laughs> Am I an expert? Okay, let's see. What does Dean love the most? Pie, Castiel, the Impala, or Sam? Capitan! 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 This is a trick question. <laughs> I think it's a tie. Or a three-way tie. What does Dean love the most? Pi, the Impala, or Sam? I want to say Sam, but it's probably going to be Pi. I'm going to say Sam. Yay! <laughs> his brother Sam. There's nothing in the world that Dean Winchester loves more than his baby brother Sam. Ah, Cute. When is Sam's birthday? That is May 2nd. Yes. Sam Winchester was born on May 2nd, 1983 and coincidentally died for the first time on his birthday too. Yikes. <laughs> oh, right. That's true. Wow. Rough birthday. <laughs> Oof. No wonder they don't really celebrate. <laughs> Who helped the Winchesters defeat Dick Roman? That would be... Charlie. Out of these options, it's Charlie. Charlie Bad Bradbury. Charlie not only played a big part in helping the Winchesters defeat Dick Roman in Season 7, but also became Dean's best friend too. When was the Impala made? It was made in 1967, April 12th. 24th or 21st? Uh, oh god. Season 5 told us. I'm trying to remember. I think it was the 24th, but I'm probably wrong. They were both marked, marked correctly. <laughs> uh, it marked both of them correctly, but it says the 24th. 
April 24th, 1967, in the season 5 episode Swan Song, Chuck reveals that the Impala was created on April 24th, 1967. I'm surprised I got that one right. <laughs> what is Sam's least favorite day of the week? I want to say Tuesday because that's the day that Dean kept dying over and over and over again. Tuesday. If you had to live the same Tuesday over and over again like Sam did in season 3 episode Mystery Spot, you would end up hating Tuesday too. You'll thank me when it's Wednesday. <laughs> what is Sam's catchphrase? Sam's? Um... Probably, probably, so get this. So get this. Jared Padalecki's answer to what Sam Winchester's catchphrase would be. So get this. It makes sense, as Sam says this often throughout the series, as the brothers prepare to take down whatever supernatural creature they're up against that week. <laughs> it, it makes sense. Do Dean and Castiel share a po profound bond? This is weird. Um, I guess the answer is yes. Yes, in season six episode The Third Man, Sam argues with Castiel about him about only visiting during Dean's return. What? I didn't say that right. <laughs> Uh, yes, in season 6 episode The Third Man, Sam argues with Castiel about only visiting once Dean returns, to which Castiel shares, Dean and I do share a more profound bond. <laughs> what is the strangest creature that the Winchesters have ever thought of killing? Themselves, a teddy bear, a unicorn, clowns. Strangest creature that the Winchester has ever thought of killing. I think it's the teddy bear. I think it's the teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> a teddy bear. In season four episode, Wishful Thinking, Sam and Dean met a, con uh, a conscious teddy bear, have an existential crisis, and have a discussion about how they would theor theoretically kill it. <laughs> Are we gonna kill this teddy bear? <laughs> <coughs> Which of these things made Sam the most upset when he lost it? His shoe? Ruby? His soul? Demon Dean. <laughs> it's his shoe. His shoe. Of all the things above, Sam was the most visibly upset when he lost his shoe during the season 3 episode Bad day of Black Rock. I lost my shoe. <laughs> what happened to Castiel's trench coat after he walked into the lake? Uh, Dean found it and kept it safe. Boo. Hi. Hi. Dean kept it. That's right. Dean kept Castiel's trench coat until he came back home. <laughs> He's so, so cute. If you're willing to listen, I have a proposal for you. Oh? I was thinking about this while I was at work today, and I thought it would be something that you would enjoy doing, potentially, and it works really well with your sponsorship. Mm hmm? So it's a challenge for you and me for tomorrow. Maybe even today, if you want to. But we'd have to, like, set it up first. So we would go on to Genshin. We would make a list. Not... We can either do it in the same world or our own worlds, respectively. Um, I think it'd be funnier if it's in the same world, because it makes it a little more challenging. Um, but the idea is we're going to go through... This is the prep work. We have to go through all the different recipes that we have access to on our accounts and make a speed run of who can make all of our dishes first. But I purposely got more dishes than you. I know, that's why we're going to figure out only the, which ones we each have collected. I literally bought all of the recipes from the whole world that, currently. <laughs> that's why we have to go through them all and find out which ones I do have. That way we only make those dishes. Does that make sense? Uh, I guess. 
And I thought you would like it because one, you like a challenge. Two, if we're on the same world, we have to share the ingredients inherently. We can't be greedy and steal all of the things for everyone. Well, here's also the problem, though. Mm -hmm. Some ingredients you have to buy, and if we're in the same world, we can't talk to NPCs. Right. Okay, so we would have to do it in our own individual worlds then. Hmm. But still, I thought like an idea of a speed run of who could do it faster. And I'm not talking like making one copy of each food. Unless the list is way too long. It's probably going to be way long. Well, we'll see. If you like the idea, we can start compiling the list. It's definitely interesting, but I'm not sure if I, uh, I have the patience for it. <laughs> All right. I thought you would find it interesting because one, it's one, it celebrates also the ability of that. Hey, with HelloFresh, you can just order the meals ready, prepared at home, and then you don't have to go out and do the fuckery that we're about. Well, you to still do. have to prepare it, but they give you the food so you can learn how to cook. Yeah, and we don't have. In this case, we have to go out and get every single ingredient. Run around to all these different stores and every single part of the getting valley. Getting killed by boars. <laughs> <laughs> I have a quiz if you want to do it with me. It has sure, nothing I'll... to do with Supernatural. Sure, I'll do one quiz. It's called, I'm honestly curious if you prefer the original or the remix of these movies. Okay. It's a movie question, so I'm, I, okay. I don't know all of them. I'll, I'll do the, I'll do this one. Uh, which version? Been... Hmm? I was gonna say, I've also, um, been on a bit of an art binge recently and I've had some very fun ideas that I'm working on. Okay, that's why this is just a chatting stream, so you can also yeah, uh, do work if you want to. Yeah, I have to mess around with stuff. So, which version of Little Woman is better? 1994 or 2019? Now you see, I've never seen either of these. I haven't either. So... It doesn't really matter which one we pick. Which one do you think looks better? Looks I better say it's not... probably in the 1994. That's what I would say as well. Most people like the 2019 one. Interesting. Okay, it's a close it's a close vote though overall. He's all that or she's all that. Oh. Again, another mo this uh, unlike Little Woman where I've heard of it but never seen it. I've never even heard of these ones. Well, I think I act. I recognize this actress, and I've plus this one's on Netflix, so I could have seen it by accident. All right, I've definitely never even heard of these ones. Uh, apparently, she's all that is a lot more like. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, that's good to know. That's one to keep on the eyes. Though. Which version of Charlie? I'm the already. <laughs> I don't even give me the option. 1971. <laughs> I need to look at your screen. 1971. <laughs> there is only one Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie. 59. I don't know what you're talking about. There's there's no other version that exists. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. That, How about Jumanji? Picture? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, 1995 though. I do like um, the actors chosen for both of them. I do, but Jumanji for one reason. Van Pelt the Hunter in Jumanji for 1995 actually put fear into me. Imagine, uh, right. uh, have you ever read the book The Greatest Game before? No. Okay, well, The Greatest Game is basically uh, a man invites someone to his island for, like, a vacation. Uh, in reality, he invites him there to compete in a contest the contest is live 24 hours on my island while i hunt you down for sport mm. okay. the entire embodiment of that moment is the entire sole focus of van pelt okay so original jumanji yes absolutely. it's 64 percent. absolutely uh which version of the parent trap oh uh 98 yeah that's the one i know of yeah, ninety-eight version. Eighty-eight <laughs> percent. Yeah, it's a it's a very good. Uh, how about Annie? Ooh, ooh, both are really good. I've That's only the tough one. I think I've only seen the twenty fourteen one. Really? Because I've only seen the nineteen eighty two one. I like the twenty fourteen one because it had really a lot of good actors in it. Yeah, and both are really really good. Um, either one will work. I really I, I don't mind actually. Both are good. Uh, apparently the original one is highly voted on. 
Really? Both are fantastic. Well, that's because Alice of in Wonderland. Okay, I need to see which ones they give. Okay, 90, 51, 51, 51. Because <laughs> here's the thing. There are over 50 Alice in Wonderland movies. Uh, what about Mulan? Uh, first one, animated, absolutely. I don't even acknowledge the other one. It's terrible. I haven't seen it. I can't judge it if I haven't seen I it. Can, I can. 7%? Can <laughs> yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Um, I've only seen the animated one. Yeah, I've only seen the animated one. I heard the other one was fine, but nothing to scream home about. So ninety-one. Yeah, animated. Uh, Lion King. Ooh. Um, I, I think still I've seen say both. I still say ninety-four. I think I've the seen both. Again, I don't like any of the live action Disney Oh, movies. the live action got 5%. <laughs> Yikes. And that's the end of that quiz. That was a short, short quiz. Yes. Wow. Would you that like a... to try the quote quiz I mentioned yesterday? Not really. Mm. I I told you, I'm gonna ge I'll be amazed if I get one right. Well, we could do it now, and then I'll give you, like a month or two and then try it again and see how different it is because then you have a chance to get to know the characters i think uh, that would be interesting maybe not not super excited about that though at least you don't have to use the screen I'll just read them to you, and I'll read okay. them slowly and try to mimic the character even, as like they okay. have an accent or something. Okay, well give me. I mean that would help. <laughs> that would significantly help. Well, give me like a second. Do I have to unplug one thing and plug in two more? Take your time because I still have to pull up the challenge. Where is the, the challenge? Where is the Where is the said challenge? Where would it be? Hmm. Okay, I think. Okay, no worries. All right. Am I? Yeah, I'm still talking. That's good. Okay. <sighs> I found it. All right. Well, that's good. I'm gonna adjust <clears throat> my microphone accordingly. So. Yes. There are 42 quotes. Oh my. That's a lot of dialogue we're gonna have to go through. I'm just putting things in place. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, not yet. I know. I just want. I'm just waiting. Mm -hmm. I need a pencil. So I can write down how many you get right. Okay, am I clear to you? Yes. Am I still clear to you? Yes. Cool. That means I can have my microphone in a good spot now, where you can hear me clearly and I can still work. Alright, we're all good then. We're starting off easy. Mm-hmm. Hey, ass butt. I'm gonna say that's Dean. You sure? Yeah. Nope. Couldn't tell you. It's Castiel. Really? He threw a, a holy Molotov at oh. Michael. <laughs> you, that was so specific and such a one-time thing. Yikes, that's not simple. There's that's so many me. memes about it. Really? Yes. I would have never guessed that. That's the thing that, like, people walked over. A lot of people liked how he said ass butt because it's basically saying butt butt. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, right, wait, so which, who said this? Oh, okay, okay. Well, boo hoo! I'm so sorry your feelings are hurt, princess! Oh, God. Remember, I had to check this one because I had to 
remember too. Oh, then I have absolutely no idea who it is. <laughs> it's uh, it's Bobby. Oh no, I can hear it now. I yeah. can hear it. Well, boo. Yeah, because here. Dean wanted to give up and yes, it was and given to Michael. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So now, like the moment you said Bobby, it's like, yep, I can hear the entire phrase in his voice. Now. Yep. He was in the wheelchair crying, yelling about it too. I remember this. Yep. All right. I don't think you'll get this one, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Thanks. We deserve to be loved. I deserve to be loved. I just want to be loved. I tried nice. to do the accent. Yeah, no, I... Um... I don't know at all. I have no idea. Um, so that was actually Crowley. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I would have never guessed. <laughs> okay, this one should be easy. Driver picks the music, shotgun shuts his cakel. That's Dean, we've had this. Yes. Yeah, that was the exact quote you used to I test know, me I know. I saw so many sticker designs of it. I, ha I had to use that one as the example. Plus, that was, like, from the very first episode. <clears throat> okay, this one I think you'll remember because you laughed at it. Okay. You gonna look at more anime, or are you strictly into dip now? That's Sam. <laughs> yes. That is Sam Winchester talking to Dean. Absolutely. About Dick Roman. It's a name. Yes, I know. <laughs> Okay, next quote. Pudding! Absolutely not. I don't even know what... You don't know who says pudding! No. Okay, uh, so, uh... It's, it's okay, Dean? Mm -hmm. In the mental hospital. Uh, he drops his pants and says, Pudding! pudding. I rem yeah, you're right. The dropping the pants bit to when they're in the morgue. Yeah, to convince them that they have no idea what they're doing. So, like, the moment you say who it is, I can immediately picture the line again. It was just like, oh, right. This one's from a while ago, but you should. No. It's, it, it's from a while ago. You've okay. seen this scene. Okay. Do I have a molar in my hair? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, jeez. Um. Why do I feel like it's Sam? It's not Sam. Okay, well, I have no idea. It's Chuck. Who oh. was there when Castiel exploded? Oh, right. Fair and enough. so Cass's tooth was in his hair. That's That's right. Okay. All right, I'll answer that question. <clears throat> okay, uh, you've seen the scene. Most likely. Not sure if you'll take any note to it, though. Probably not. Sorry if it's a bit chilly. Most people think I burn hot, but it's quite, qu it's actually quite the opposite. I messed it up. <laughs> Sorry if it's a bit chilly. Yeah. Most people think I burn hot, but it's actually quite the opposite. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think. There's two people in mind, actually, who I think it could be, and I'm trying to pinpoint in my brain who it is. Um, I'm going to say it's Crowley. Nope. Was it Ruby? Nope. Nope, no idea then. Lucifer. Oh, right. He put frost on a window and then drew on it. Right. With all the did. vapors. Yes, yes, he did. Who right. said montage? Oh god, I You these are so obscure. Like <laughs> seriously. I even tried to put the pouty face in there for you. Montage. I wanna say it's Dean. No. 
Again, I'm gonna get 90% of these wrong. It's Charlie. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like her. Who said... Metatron, you're saying a Transformer wrote that? It's Sam. You think it's Sam? Because... No, it was Dean. Dean said it. It was Sam or Dean. It was definitely Dean, though, because Dean doesn't remember who the, who the Transformers are. Sam corrects him. If I remember correctly. Actually, you got it right the first time. God damn it! Don't just do that to me! Just tell me I'm right, then! I... I... I didn't know. I was checking it. <laughs> I, I was very confident. You were like, oh, are you sure? Like, well, don't do that to me. You were right. It's Sam. Mm. <laughs> I honestly thought Dean said that, so... I- I was certain it was- it was, um... I was certain about that, too. Okay, next quote we have. Four score and seven years ago, I had a funny hat. Uh... Okay, I know the scene. And I think it- I'm pretty much certain it's Dean. Yeah. Because Dean just took off the top hat off of the man off of the wax museum Abraham Lincoln. Yep, and tried it on. Yes. Because it was his real hat. It was a hide it hunted. Yes. Yes, it was. You know what I mean. Yes. Wait, who said this one? Okay, I had to make sure. Yes, please double <clears throat> check now. In the woods, no. <laughs> I'm trying to get his voice. Um. In the words of a good friend, bite me. Uh, Castiel? Yes. That, that sounded like Castiel to me. I tried. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Vietnam! That is Lucifer. Yep. Who said, mm -hmm. then he brought the new baby home and you couldn't handle it. Oh. Tricky one. I I recognize this one too. It's like on the tip of my tongue this time though. It's like actually a tip of my tongue sort of situation. Um. Hmm. Give me a second. I gotta think about this. <laughs> Take your Bobby. time. Is Bobby? No. Really? I would have said it in Bobby's like Western accent. It. You didn't have Bobby's Western accent. I didn't have an accent. <laughs> it... I. I don't think he has an accent that stands out. It's um... actually. You want to have a second guess? No, I had no other guess. It's Gabriel. Talking to Lucifer. Oh, talking to Lucifer. Yep, you're right. Talking about humanity. Yep. I thought Bobby also said something very similar to that. Maybe. Maybe he did. I don't know. Uh, next one. Pay attention to me. I'm bored. Lucifer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Lucifer. He's a. He's a, he's he's me. <laughs> He's just yeah. constantly yeah. bored and tension thinking. Also because he's trying to drive Sam insane. Yeah, that's there's, there's three levels of manipulation. I don't think you only see the first level. I see all three. It's like, that's terrifying. <clears throat> okay. Um, next quote. Go save your brother and my unicorn. Uh, that is Meg. That is correct. <laughs> that is Meg right before she is killed by Crowley. <laughs> I sure hope you get this one right. Bro, don't ever say that. This looks like a sex torture dungeon. I didn't say that. Kevin. that I didn't. It, what? You know what? It's Kevin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Kevin. Yeah, it's Kevin. <laughs> Poor Kevin. Yeah. Oh, he's been there so much. Oh, poor Kevin. 
organizing. Okay, so. I do not blame you if you get this one wrong. Mm -hmm. It's called Witchcraft Short Bus. Oh. Um. Hmm. I have no idea. Uh, it is. It's Meg. Really? Meg or Ruby? Makes sense. One of the two of them. Okay. I think I'm leaning towards Meg because Meg was a witch when she was human. Okay. So makes that sense, makes sense. Though. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully I can say this correctly. I'm gonna say it slowly. No one in the history of tortures have been tortured with the torture like the torture you'll be tortured with. And it's supposed to be said with an accent and a hushed I... whisper. Yeah. <laughs> it's <sighs> It's a my brain is trying to split one of two torture sequences. Um and it's either Prowley torturing the angel, or it's Bobby torturing the Leviathan. No, no, no. It's 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 Dean torturing Crowley. Final answer. I'm going to give it to you. Because one of your guesses was correct, and it was the first one. Re so it was Crowley torturing the angel. I didn't. I, I'm not gonna say who he was torturing, but it was Crowley that said it. Oh, okay. I recognize that quote. That's why, I like, oh, I recognize that one. <clears throat> Wait, let me check this one. Okay. It touches... No. Touches me right where the bathing suit goes. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> I tried to do the accent. <laughs> yep. Touches no, me no. right where the bathing suit goes. Yeah, could not tell you. It's Crowley. <laughs> Crowley. <clears throat> I lost my shoe. Ah, uh, Sam, we really were just talking about this. <laughs> yeah. If I got that wrong, I would have been upset with myself. It's such a classic scene. <laughs> Here's the thing. To me, it's not. Literally, until you brought it up, don't, couldn't even remember it existed. I found a liquor store, and I drunk it. Oh. Or drank it. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be drank it. I drank found it. a liquor store, and I drank it. Uh, no, no real idea, to be honest with you. You're not even gonna guess? <laughs> I couldn't even guess if I wanted to. It's Cass. Huh. He found a liquor store and he drank it. <laughs> well then. He was drunk, and Sam's like, you're drunk? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, no kidding. I guess, yeah, <clears throat> okay. You look like you got attacked by some PCP's crazed strippers. <laughs> oh, that is, um... Oh, God. Uh, it, I know exactly the scene. It's Dean talking to Sam after the... After the... After basically the bootleg Chuck E. Cheese and him having to do all yeah. the clowns. Yep. <laughs> the clown you attack. Look, you, you look like some... You look like Wait, let me show this to the stream. I'm, I'm only going to show it. I'm going to put the music back on. I'm not actually going to play like the actual scenes. If you want to see the scenes and hear what they say, watch Supernatural. Simple as that. I'll be skipping around. Hold on. <laughs> what do you mean, hold on? I, I'm work sorry, I'm saying like three other things at once. That's why I said hold on. Okay. Okay. You ready? Okay, yes. I've got genital herpes. 
<laughs> it's Sam. <laughs> That's Sam. I know this one. Because <laughs> it's the it's the damn it's the commercial uh, the infomercial. <laughs> it's like yeah, play along. What is this one again? Okay. Enough! There'll be no n new king of hell. Not today, not ever. Um, I don't think you'll recognize this one. Uh, no. Not at all. It's Sam. Okay. Who said, Most hunters that come through that door think they can get my pants- Wait. Most hunters that come through that door think they can get in my pants with some pizza, a six-pack, and a side one of Zeppelin 4. Uh, no clue. It's an old one. It's Joe. Oh, yeah, that, that is quite old, yeah. Who said, awesome, the king of hell just snapped my girlfriend's neck? Uh, Kevin. Yeah, it's Kevin. It's Kevin. Poor Kevin. <laughs> Poor Kevin. Fight the fairies! You fight those fairies! Uh... No idea. It's Dean. Oh, okay. I don't remember that one at all. That's why. It was during the fairy episode. I, s I don't remember that. Quote, he attacked story. a small person thinking it was a fairy and then he got arrested. So he shouted to Sam, fight the fairies, you fight those fairies. Which, yep, by the don't... way, was not scripted. <laughs> okay, also, don't remember that in the slightest. <clears throat> it was during Solus Sam. Hmm. You were wasted by a teenage mutant ninja angel. You were wasted by a teenage mutant ninja angel. Uh oh gods. Uh I'm thinking really hard on this one. Oh, thanks. What? Uh I don't I don't know. I don't know who it is. It's Dean. Okay. Talking about how Castiel got been blown up by Raphael. Got it. <laughs> He said, shut up to me. Nick. <laughs> That's the quote. Oh, I, I didn't even catch what you just said. The quote is, uh -huh. he said, shut up to me. Oh, um, I don't know. It's Lucifer. Oh, uh, okay. Because Sam was like, shut up. <laughs> Try to focus. Mm -hmm. Who said hello, boys? Crowley. Yeah, it's Crowley. It's Crowley. Yeah, it's Crowley. <clears throat> Who said help them? I saved them. I rebuilt Castiel more times than I can remember. Look where that got me. I don't think you'll recognize this one. No, <laughs> I don't. You'll get uh, to it. Okay. Who said, I killed Hitler? I don't know. <laughs> I never got to that episode yet. You'll get to it. I think it's like literally in the next episode. <laughs> oh. Look, yesterday was Tuesday, right? But today is Tuesday too. Oh god, my head. It's Sam. Yes. During the repeat. Day. Yeah, the the uh, mystery spot. Yes. <sighs> <clears throat> Lucifer, you're my brother, and I love you, but you're a great big bag of dicks. <laughs> um, Michael. No, 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 um, Gabriel. Yep. It's Gabe. Mm hmm. I'm trying to find it. Who said, <clears throat> I'll interrogate the cat? Um. 
Oh gosh. Um, I have no idea. That would be Cass. Okay. He didn't get that cats can't talk. <laughs> mm. Still new to the whole fake FBI thing. Yep. I'm gonna skip this quote because you'll have no idea. Yep, thank you. <laughs> it's a good quote though, I love it. But mm -hmm. you won't have any clue of that one. Uh... Okay, this is an old quote. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Killing this demon comes first, before me, before everything. Oh, um... Hmm, I don't know. Would, would it help if I tell you what demon he's talking about? Yes, absolutely. Azazel. Oh, uh, Sam then. Nope. Okay, then I couldn't tell you. It's John. <laughs> oh, okay. John literally put everything in front of his self and his family. He he needed to kill the demon. That's the first priority to him. Okay. Okay. This one is kind of new to your brain. Mhm. Mm As fate would have it, I adopted two boys and they grew up great. They grew up heroes. Bobby. Yes. Bobby. Yes. What is going on? Okay. okay. This is also relatively new in your brain. Mm -hmm. The Titanic. Sorry. It was meant to sink, and I saved it. Uh. Castiel. I tried doing the accent. <laughs> the Titanic. It was meant to sink, and I saved it. <sighs> I figured you might have trouble because you kept forgetting his name. <laughs> yeah, I'm forgetting his name, but I, I'm. Just, give me a second. Uh, it is. I know who, like, I know it's one of the angels. I know it's an angel that worked with Cass. Ah, uh, I can't remember his name for the life of me though. I'll give it to you because you know who he is, but you just don't know his name. And you yeah. always failed at remember his name. I always did. Balthazar. Ah, that's why. Which is the fu it's the funniest thing. It's one of the easiest ones I should remember. And I'm not going to explain why. I need to remember who said this. Okay, I remember now. <clears throat> Who's Celine Dion? Oh. Oh. Um, oh gosh. Hold on. I, I know, I know what we're talking about here. Um. It's like the same scene. As the I, know it's the, I know it's the same scene. I'm trying to remember who said it though. Oh my gods. No wonder everything's been messed up. Sorry. I was, while you were trying to do that, my brain's trying to think. I was trying to figure out why all of my 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 things have been messed up so recently it's because i was using the wrong pen stylus mm. okay it was like i was trying to figure out which was going on it's like why is it why does it look so grainy and terrible because it was on pencil mm. which means i have to go back and fix an entire thing it's gonna drive me absolutely nuts to fix it oh well i'll fix it again i'll fix it um uh, okay um it is um I I I I can picture it. I, I, I can picture the scene. I can't say who says it though. So just move on with it. Okay, well, the answer was Sam. Oh. I thought he would remember. No, no one knew who Celine Dion was because the Titanic didn't sink. <laughs> okay, you won't know about this one either. Okay. And that's it. Alright, there we go. Your total is... 20 points. That's 
out of 42. That's 50%. I am a little under 50%. I am, I'm gladly going to take that. You did pretty good. I'm actually surprised how well I did. I'm going to see if I can find an actual quiz that will challenge me. Okay. When it comes to supernatural trivia. Because... I want, like, trivia to, um, about, like, the creatures. Mm, that would be a great trivia quiz. Yeah. That's what, the, like, that would be a quiz that I want to take. Mm -hmm. To see if I can actually, like, be at least the researcher of the hunt or of the hunts. Yeah. Even if I don't know how to shoot a gun or anything, I can at least tell you what the monster's gonna be. Yeah, you want Bobby's job. Yeah. I'll answer the phones. Yep. That was sarcastic. I can't answer phones. <laughs> I know you can't answer phones. Okay, I found a supernatural how to fight each monster quiz. Okay. I'm not sure how good it is, but we can try it out. Yep. Let's see how good of a hunter we can be, or I how can be. How you can be. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna focus solely on working now. Okay, start the quiz. How do you kill a vampire? Silver bullet, decapitation, fire, or salt? Decapitation. Vampires reproduce by turning humans through blood transfusion. Despite this ability, vampires in America have been hunted to the point of near extinction. How do on you a keep... separate note, hmm? I was going to say, on something separate that you may not remember, <coughs> there's, uh, it, there's actually a direct reference to... I don't, know if it's a re I don't know if it's a direct, direct reference to it, but um, I, I'd like to think it's a direct reference to it. Um, in in Helsing Abridged, there's a direct I there's a direct joke at least. I never um, watched Helsing Abridged. Let me finish, please. There's a direct reference in it where where Alucard gets his head cut off uh, with a silver blade, uh, and then his head comes back on and goes, "Nice, you got part. You've got step one." What about nine? What about two through ten? Making fun of the fact that it's not just the decapitation. Okay. God, you're so hard to please. I don't get it because I never watched Helsing. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He was a vampire. So he got his head cut off with it. He got his head cut off with a silver blade. That's not and the supernatural it, it... way. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He's making fun of it. How to keep ghosts out of your room? Salt, ho holy oil, holy water, devil's trap. Technically, ho holy oil would do that, but it's usually just salt. An evil spirit cannot cross a line of salt, therefore putting a salt mine on all doors and windows will keep them away, at least temporarily. What type of bullet kills a werewolf? Gold, salt, copper, silver. Silver. <laughs> that was easy. Werewolves are half human and half wolf creatures with incredible strength and speed. They are capable of healing most wounds on themselves, unless, of course, they are shot with the silver bullet. How do you paralyze a vampire? Silver, dead man's blood, holy water, blood from a werewolf. <laughs> that would be difficult. It's dead man's blood. Dead man's blood is not lethal for vampires, but they can't they certainly don't like it. This is because it can paralyze them for a period of time. What do angels use to fight one another? Demon blades, colts, <laughs> angel blades, shotguns, angel blades. That would definitely be interesting if all angels have a cult. <laughs> that would be interesting. Angels are agents of heaven who are known for following orders. However, a few angels have been known to go rogue, and this can often lead to infighting and bloodshed. What burns the skin of a demon? Holy water, <clears throat> dead man's blood, 
tap water. <laughs> Silver, it's holy water. Holy water is often used by the Winchester brothers as a method of torture against the demons. Anytime they need information, the holy water comes out. What should, uh, what should you replace the pellets in a shotgun shell with to fight a ghost? Tomatoes, silver, rock salt, copper, rock salt. <clears throat> Dean Winchester introduces Sam Winchester to a new weapon when it comes to fighting a ghost. Rock salt in a shotgun. Over the course of their career as, uh, over the course of their career as hunters, this comes in quite handy. They even use it against demons a few times. What type of gun was altered to kill most monsters? The Colt. I don't know what a point twenty-two is. There's a rifle and shotgun. It's a, it's the Colt. In the 19th century, Samuel Colt invented a gun that can kill just about any monster. Needless to say, it becomes a prized possession for whichever hunter owns it. How do you remove a demon without killing the human possessed? Stick to the heart, which would definitely kill. Purified water, I don't think that would work. <laughs> the human rejects the demon, which I, I doubt the human can. And then there's just exorcism. <laughs> Demons are nat uh, nasty creatures who possess humans against their will. However, the human body is unharmed. Uh, I did not say that right. However, if the human body is un unharmed, a demon can be removed with little long-term damage after the demon is gone. How do you trap a demon? Holy oil, which would work. Devil's trap, of course. Blessed house, never heard of that one. Golden cage, that is definitely interesting. Devil's trap. Demons are both manipulating and cunning. However, they can be tricked into Devil's Trap if planned stra stra strategically. Yes. I'm not even looking at the word. I know the word you're already <laughs> yeah. What are ghosts weak against? Sugar, silver, iron, brass. Iron. Ghosts can temporarily repel... A bit, bit, bit. Ghosts can be temporarily repelled by striking them with iron. However, they will come back angrier than before. How do you lay a spirit to rest? Burn the body, trap the spirit, exorcism, pray. <laughs> Burn the body. To stop an evil spirit, a hunter needs to find the body of the human who is now a ghost and burn it. This can become complicated because occasionally the ob objects hold the person's DNA and those objects must be burned as well. How can you keep from turning into a vampire if one bites you? Well, first of all, that is not how a vampire turns you into a vampire. <laughs> if a vampire bites you, you're not going to turn into a vampire in the supernatural realm. <laughs> it needs to be a blood transfusion, as in they drink, you drink their blood. Uh, drink holy water, drink dead man blood, feed on a virgin, don't drink blood. You don't! Drink blood. <laughs> Someone who is turned into a vampire can be turned back into a human if they can find the person who turned them. However, they can't give in to their temptations and feed on human blood or they can never be turned back. How do you kill a dragon? Weapon from Pregatory? Sword forged in the blood of a dragon? Fire? Clip their wings. The bl uh, sword forged in the blood of a dragon. Dragons are extremely rare creatures to come across, and lore on them is hard to find. However, they can be killed by a sword forged in the blood of a dragon. Too bad only a few of those swords still exist. What can kill anything? Angel Blade? Cult built by Bobby Singer? Death Scythe or Voodoo Dolls? Death Scythe. Death is one of the most powerful creatures on the face of the earth. He claims that one day he'll even reap God. How do you trap a phoenix? Iron cage, salt ring, devil's trap, holy oil. Uh, I don't remember this one. I think it's iron cage. Yes. A phoenix can turn anything that it touches into ash, making them very dangerous creatures to come across. However, mo like most monsters, they can't touch iron or it'll burn the skin. 
What can kill a knight of hell? Demon blade, angel blade, first blade, or the cult? First blade. Knights of hell are immune to most weapons that work on normal demons. However, if a hunter is willing to take on the mark of Cain, they can use the first blade to kill one of the knights. I love that series. That arc. The Mark of Cain arc. Oh, it's so good. Okay. <laughs> How do you identify a shapeshifter? Fangs, retinal flares, claws, gray skin. Retinal flares. Shapeshifters can change their appearance to look like that of any human. However, if one is caught on camera, its eyes will give out a retinal flare, giving away its identity. What are shapeshifters vulnerable against? Gold, anything, fire, silver. Silver! Shapeshifters are capable of accessing the thoughts of the people they turn into. However, the human has to be alive for this to happen. So shifters often leave their prey alive. How can you spot a wraith? Holy water burns, fangs, mirror reflection, magic glasses. Mirror reflection. Wraiths eat by feeding on the brain fluid of their victims. They access the fluid through a spike that comes out from their wrist. How do you slow down a fairy? Bug spray, leather net, silk rope, grains of sand. Grains of sand. Fairies are very powerful creatures that are hard to stop because of their magical abilities. However, grains of sand are dropped on the floor. If grains of sand are dropped on the floor, a fairy must stop and count every grain of sand before doing anything else. What will kill a Rougarou? Uh, silver, fire, drowning, electricity. I think it's fire. A Rougarou is a human who has a specific gene that increases its appetite substantially at a certain age. The appetite is increased so much that the Rougarou eventually gives in to eating human. What can you use to approach a vampire without being detected? Scent blocker, magic coin, tribal tattoo, non-squeak sh uh, shoes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know this one. Hold on. Pause. What was the question? What can you use to approach a vampire without being detected? Oh. Um, hmm. The options I are... Yeah. Scent blocker, magic mm -hmm. coin, tribal tattoo, or non squeak shoes. Hmm. I'd like to say a scent blocker, but I feel that. I feel like that's on the same level with the non squeak shoes. Yeah, I know. It's those are the two. Um. I'm gonna say scent blocker. I kind of want to say it's like magic coin or tribal tattoos because the scent blocker and non-squeak sh uh, shoes may cover one of the senses but it doesn't cover the other in that case go with magic coin because I would not bother with tribal tattoos it's the scent blocker hi I was right vampires have very strong s s noses this allows them to track human blood for miles but they can yeah. also hear your heartbeat for miles yeah, but it was more the fact that they go off of the sense of blood than it would be for the heartbeat. Unless they are craving it really badly. How do you kill a ghoul? Stick to the heart, fire, decapitation, bone dipped in lamb's blood. It's bone dipped in lamb's blood, I think. Nope, decapitation. A lot of things die by decapitation. <laughs> This is the second one. <laughs> Ghouls feed on the bodies of the dead. After they feed on a dead human, they can then take form of that person, allowing them to live in disguise. How do you remove a cod worm? Water, electricity, heat, or salt? Cod worm. That's, that's the electricity one. Cod worms can crawl into humans' brains and take over their body. However, if the human can survive the shock, electricity can remove the con worm. What do you have to avoid when fighting a djinn? Claws, fangs, singing, getting touched. It's getting touched. Djinns have hallucinogen touch that will send a human into a dream state. 
While in this dream state, humans will live out their deepest desires. How do you kill a djinn? Silver dipped in lamb's blood, gold, special exorcism, dagger to the brain. Uh, I think it's silver dipped in lamb's blood. Yes. Jinns feed on the human blood. To nourish this appetite, they will trap humans for days in a state of unconsciousness, feeding on them uh, in the process. What do you have to force into the mouth of a not zero to kill it? Oh, oh, I remember this one. It's, 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 um. Oh, God. Uh, it's, I think it's a copper coin. Because you have to remind them that they're dead, and it's the specific type of dead that has, like, the jewels and the coin in them. Like, oh, okay. you have to have a coin in a dead person's mouth so they can give it to Sharon to travel across the lake. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the coin. Yeah. If a Noxir is, decap is decapitated without a copper coin... In its mouth, the creature's head will remain animated. When the head is returned to the body, it will re reattach. <laughs> hmm. So it needs the coin in the mouth. A copper coin. Yes. Uh, what can you kill with a bamboo dagger blessed in it, blessed by a Shinto priest? <laughs> Tink, Okami, Wendigo, elves. It's Okami. <laughs> Even if you have the right dagger to kill an Okami, it can still be, uh, it can still be difficulty. That is not English. They have to be stabbed seven times to die. Yep. What happens if you fall in love with a siren? You die. It turns human. The siren dies. A new one is born. Uh... I don't remember this one. I'm trying to remember when they come across the siren. I think it's the new one is born. Nope, it turns human. Sirens are known for changing into a human form that meets the desire of their prey. Right? I remember that. I remember that episode now. They then use this to manipulate their prey into committing horrible acts such as murder. What can you kill with a bronze dagger coated in the blood of the creature's victim? What can you kill with a bronze dagger coated in the blood of the creature's victim? I'm going to say siren. <laughs> Yeah, it's a siren. <laughs> Sirens are not like other monsters in that they don't actually feed on humans. Instead, they enjoy the euphoria of having a human perform horrible attacks like murder for them. How do you trap an angel? Holy oil. Holy oil is very useful substance for hu hunters. It is the only thing that can trap an angel and the oil can even kill some angels. How do you keep a rakasa out of your home? A raksha? I think that's see. how you pronounce it. Raksha? Ra rakshasa. Rakshasa? Rakshasa. How do you keep one of those out of your home? Salt, nice. ask it question, garlic, don't invite it in. <laughs> Now you see, I don't know this one because this one's new. I know what these creatures Russia. are. I don't know how in the supernatural universe they're dealt with. I think it's... I think it's... Uh, don't invite it in. A rakshasa can only come into your home if you invite it in. That's why these creatures often target children who are more likely to let them come inside. Mm -hmm. How do you kill a wendigo? 
Gold dagger dipped in holy water. Fire, decapitation, stake to the heart. It's fire. Mm -hmm. Wendigos are creatures who are, were once human until they were forced to eat the flesh of their other humans. Eventually, after years of eating human flesh, it is the only thing the creature craves. Who is the only one who can kill... I don't think I want to say that name. <laughs> um, the Blink of Babylon. Uh, do you need my help again? No, I'm purpose. I'm okay. purposely not saying that word. <laughs> okay. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, the only one who can kill the Blink of Babylon. A servant of heaven, a demon god, a fallen man. Is it a fallen man? I can't remember this one. Mm. No, it's a servant of heaven. The Blink of Babylon is known for manipulating people into horrendous acts such as murder. Her goal is to send good people to hell. Right! I remember that episode now. Yeah. <laughs> Finish the quiz. I got 31 out of 35! That's not bad. Also, I learned some fun facts. There was actually supposed to be three spin-off series of Supernatural. Uh-huh. But only one got confirmed. Yes. Winchester got confirmed. Yes. And got greenlighted for a first season. The other yes. two were happening mid-seasons. Oh. One of them was a, a spin-off series about mafias. Okay. Monster mafias. Hmm. So like one of them is like shapeshifters, another one is werewolves, and they would uh -huh. have like fights in Chicago. Uh-huh. So that's one of the spin-offs. And the other one was Jody and a whole bunch of other female hunters. And that spinoff would have been called Wayward Sisters. Mm. I also found out that the show was supposed to end season five. Really? Yeah. That's sad because there was some really good parts in the rest of that show. The rest of it that would have n never been seen. Oh, so um, the reason why they ended on season 15 is because they ran out of supernatural creatures. Yes. And they didn't feel like repeating like stories. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tomorrow is Sims Day. I have to figure out what exactly I'm going to do in the Sims. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I might bookmark this one because this is also a good quiz. Okay, um, so tomorrow is Sims Day. I need to figure out what I'm doing. If you guys haven't already, my HelloFresh code still works. So if you want to try out HelloFresh, have healthy, fresh meals. 21 free meals plus free shipping. Use my code. It'll be up for... I think it'll be up until like after Valentine's Day. Like it's gonna be around. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so tomorrow's Sims Day. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a good morning, good night, good day, and I'll see you guys all next time. I just noticed that my light was never turned on. <laughs> Oops. But until next time, everyone, bye-bye! Bye, everyone! Bye-bye!